Day three here in Turkmenistan, so halfway through the event, and we've nearly got uh, the first elimination complete for the men, but we're not quite there yet. In the women, it's a different story. We're already through two eliminations. At the top of the tree at the moment is Delphin Kusin with a first and a second. That second came today, and it came behind Valerie Guibardo. She didn't have a good first elimination, but that first in the second elimination has pulled her right up to second overall. In third placed overall, it's Lena Erdel. Didn't have quite such a good day today with a fifth. Uh, so with a fifth and a second from the first day, she's sitting in third place and on the podium. Uh, then it becomes a little bit tighter. Marion Mortifon being very consistent. She's sitting in fourth. Uh, and up into fifth place is Mario Andres. Uh, you're probably wondering where's Anna Yama, where's Suzuki? They were up there in the first elimination. Well, what happened today, they had both had a PMS, so over the line early, uh, and that's dropped them back. So they'll be hoping for four eliminations and to get that discard. So very competitive in the girls' fleet. In the men's, it's not a different story. Super competitive. Uh, and there's one man that has won both heats. Uh, Gonzalo Costa Hovel. He's won the first round, he won the semis into the final. Uh, so who else was looking good in the semis? I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you a quick run through. Pierre Mortifon won his semi-final. He was looking fast from start to finish and looked like he controlled it really well. Ludovic Yossin, uh, Ross Williams, Toselli, Diaz and Cyril Musumani scraped in the semis. Uh, quite a close one. Uh, in that second semi-final, as I mentioned before, Gonzalo costa Hovel looking really good and really solid. Tati Franz also up there. He's put on some pounds this year and it's proven to pay off in these lighter wins because he's able to hold the top boys. Arnand Dagan, Yakino, uh, the young French one, Cassin looking good. And again, Steve Allen was another one to scrape in in that sixth place. Those guys moved into the final. We did get the final underway. We were halfway through and one guy that was just dominating, Toselli, he was flying. He was right out in the lead. He had it under control. He'd pretty much won the thing. But then I'll tell you what happened. Uh, the win just shut off and he wasn't going to get that first elimination win. Uh, Steve Allen was in second place looking in control and Gonzalo Costa was right up there, Taddy Franz, but it didn't count. We tried and we tried to run more heats, but it just wasn't happening. The wind has swung offshore and just dropped totally. That's where we are, day three. It's all come to a standstill. We've still not finished that single elimination. So we're gonna try again tomorrow. Another early start from what I'm sounding. So come back day four and check to see if we can get that elimination finished.